It's been a long two weeks since the last NDL Superfly War for Clash United after their weak six opponent dropped out of the league and then the league had a bye. Would this break in time have an impact on their week seven match against Demiurgo? Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Magnus and in this video we will look at three different war compositions used by Clash United's Town Hall 10s in this no siege war against Demiurgo in the NDL Superfly division. Before we get into these attacks, please subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell if you're enjoying the Sieges action that we're focusing on lately. Thank you for support along the way. Now let's check out these attacks. In our first replay, we've got Crazy Edwin coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo. Queen coming in at the top of this base with her healers. Sending in a Test Wall Breaker, finding the Teslas right away at that 3 o'clock corner using the archers to help establish the funnel we do get these wall breakers in against that air defense so this queen will be able to step in after taking out the barracks and clearing out the expo the air defense and the bomb tower sending in a coco loon to look for any sort of air targeting traps our queen now lures out the defending clan castle with a poison down for the witch and dragon getting a barbarian king and a wizard down to keep that queen from pathing around the bottom section of this base getting a freeze down on the expo and the defending enemy archer queen edwin's going to continue to push through taking care of the tessa farm at the right hand section of this base and the queen dispatching that expo as the queen will wrap around towards the top section of this base Edwin's Lalo is going to begin against this 6 o'clock uh, air defense. Hound and Loons coming in against the Wizard Tower, Sweeper, and Inferno. Getting a really nice freeze down, stopping that Wizard Tower from dealing any splash damage and that Sweeper from pushing these Loons back. Another haste down as we send these loons against the Sweeper, the Expo, the Wizard Tower, and Inferno. Heal over the core here as we keep these loons back up to full health. Hasting everything in towards the back end as the Queen on the uh, far top side of this base is going to work on the remaining structures as these loons are going to take care of these storages in the core the queen's archers will continue to wrap around the back end nine o'clock section of this base coming in with the first three star in this attack we've got simple coming in with the zap go we attack lightning's coming down taking care of that expo by the clan castle as well as these zaps clearing out both of those inferno towers with those beams out of the way we're free to come in from the top side of this base golems tanking for these witches which is spawning those larrys to set up the funnel for our queen tess wallbreaker coming in again uh, behind that golem the rest coming in breaking open that wall we got our bowlers coming out of the clan castle with a jump down gaining access to the core we now have the defensive clan castle coming out to play with that poison down capturing the witch minion baby dragon and archers barbarian king down to the bottom section of this base tanking that wizard tower for these witches so that their larrys and themselves don't get caught in the splash up at the top side we do have a giant tanking and beating on that mortar for our witches our queen finally getting that town hall out of the way boulders will clear out the expo which is at the top side clearing out the cannon down at the bottom those witches cleared out the wizard tower and with only a bomb tower and a wizard tower there's very minimal splash remaining on this base Popping that Barbarian King ability, our barbs are going to push through, trying to distract that Wizard Tower long enough to allow our witches to clear through the top section of this base and finally get that last bit of splash out of the way. 
down in the corner here are bowlers to eating a giant bomb almost going down however it doesn't matter as the king and larry's beat on that gold mine for that three star in this final attack we have john coming in with a drag bat special Heroes up at the top section of this base. They're looking to clear out some of those defenses on the edge. Queen's going to pull her way down, clearing out that archer tower. Manages to shoot over that wall, getting that air defense. Popping her ability here. We now have our dragons coming in with our funnel being established. Using our rage, we're going to send these dragons through this multi-inferno tower. Sneaking in our own uh, lava hound from the clan castle. We do look for any red bombs as we are red and black bombs as we cross across the base. We will have to deal with the enemy clan castle with the big dragon, but with our own big dragons, it won't take too long to breathe the flames across that guy. Bats coming in at the bottom section of this base. The golem tanking the wizard tower at the bottom. Our dragons taking care of the wizard tower at the three o'clock side. These bats path their way all around the base, taking care of these structures before eating a red bomb and fizzling out. With 30 seconds left on the clock, John's dragons will have to breathe through some pretty high hit point structures as we speed up the rest of this attack to bring in our third and final three star of the video. Flash United 10 kept the dream alive this war, keeping four stars between them and Demiurgo and prepared for their last regular war match of the season against X Business. I hope you enjoyed today's video and are enjoying the No Siege content. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Looking for additional No Siege action? Be sure to check out this season's playlist covering some of the best attacks coming from Clash United and Valor in the description of this video. Until next one guys, take care.